I recently had issues with my router, so I had to get a new one, which means that people are asking for the Wi-Fi password. And surprisingly, well, everybody asks for it. So there's an easy way to get your Wi-Fi password and your Wi-Fi access point name shared, and that's with QR codes. Um, this works just if people are using iPhones or Android, so it's probably not gonna help out with desktop, but um, this still will be really helpful. So there's a command line tool here that's called QRen code, QR and code. And you can install this definitely on Mac and Linux, probably on Windows as well. Um, but with Mac, you can just do brew install QR and code, which I already have done. This is gonna tell me I already have it. Um, and if you don't know about homebrew, you can find instructions on how to install homebrew on your Mac pretty easily. Um, once that's done, all you have to do is really copy this command where it's going to specify what file the QR code should be saved in and then also the password and the SSID of your access point. So let's say our password here is like my password, which it's not in my Wi-Fi. It's gonna be my fave Wi-Fi. And then once I enter this in, it's going to give me a wifi.png, which is the file name that I specified here. And then I could open this up, jump in here, and you can see the wifi.png that it just created. And I could now scan this with my phone if I wanted to. Um, and then this would attempt to connect to the Wi-Fi that's in here. So on an iPhone, it would look like this, where you just open up your camera and then scan the actual QR code that we just generated. And then it's gonna try and connect to that. And then on Android, you have to go into your settings, into your Wi-Fi settings, tap on the Wi-Fi network you wanna join, and then click the QR code icon in the password field. And then from there, you can scan the code and then you'll connect to the Wi-Fi. I will also mention that if you don't wanna install this on your computer, you can use this in-browser QR code generator. In-browser stuff is always a little scary because you're entering a password and username into the browser and you don't really know what they're doing with it. This one is open source, so you should be able to look at the source and trust that this is not gonna steal your Wi-Fi password. Uh, but yeah, you can use this if you want or you can also use it on your computer. So that's a much faster way of having your friends and your buddies and your family connect to your Wi-Fi. Sometimes you might even forget your own Wi-Fi password. Um, so hopefully that helps out. I know this is gonna save me a bunch of time and hopefully it helps out you and your family as well.